नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इंटरनल कम्बेशन इंजिन नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इंजिन क्लासिफिकेशन कंटेंट्स इंजिन क्लासिफिकेशन डियर फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट डू मीन बाई इंजिन द डिफरेंट इंजिन कंपोनेंट एंड इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन देन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंजिन नॉमिन क्लेचर्स नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द इंजिन सो बेसिकली इंजिन इज क्लासिफाइड ऑन टू बेसिक ग्रुप वन इज अ एक्सटर्नल कंबोशन इंजिन एंड अनदर वन इज अ इंटरनल कंबोशन इंजिन आवर पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन इंटरनल कंबोशन इंजिन सो बिफोर दिस वी मस्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्सटर्नल कंबोशन एंड इंटरनल कंबोशन देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल कंबोशन इंजिन सो इन दिस केस to understand external combustion engine i am just giving you one simple example i think all of you are knowing about a steam power plant in the steam power plant water is very important component in the steam power plant then the steam generators or we can say the steam turbine is there then uh, for generation of heat in the case of steam power plant always they are using a coal so in the case of this steam power plant coal will start to burn and that heat energy whatever generated by the burning of coal that heat energy is transferred to the water and then water will start to uh, heat and that water will converted into the steam and that steam will be forcing on the turbine blade and turbine will start to rotate with very high velocity okay and then with the help of generator electricity Will generate. So this is the simple working principle of a steam power plant, as we know. But if you concentrate on this, in the case of steam power plant, we are using a two motive fluids. Okay, what are those two motive fluids? One is a coal, and another one is a water. okay in the case of external combustion engine the combustion is done externally where the two motive fluids to be utilized for the generation of the final output okay in the case of this one first of all we have to burn the coal and that coal's heat energy is transferred to the water then water will converted into steam and then we can use that steam to forcing the turbine blade is it right but when we compare this external combustion engine with internal combustion engine in the case of internal combustion engine whatever combustion is there it will happen inside one body and in this case we are using just a fuel like petrol or diesel and automatically with the help of engine the heat energy uh, uh, will get uh, from the chemical energy which present in the fuels okay means we are only using a single motive fluid that is a fuel like petrol or diesel in the case of internal combustion engine in simple word in the case of internal combustion engine we are using fuel like petrol and diesel and the chemical energy of fuel which present over there will converted into heat energy okay as on in the case of external combustion engine we have to use first of all coal then by burning up coal that heat energy is transferred to the water then water will converted into steam and then we can use that steam to forcing the turbine but in the case of internal combustion engine we are directly using fuel and the energy chemical energy which present in the fuel directly utilized for uh, generation of heat so this is the basic difference between the external combustion and internal combustion engine so in the case of external combustion engine uh, uh, if you remember in uh, the earlier days the steam engines was there so steam engine was the example of external combustion engine uh, where the whole combustion were done outside so uh, uh, that's why it, it was called as external combustion whereas in the case of internal combustion means whatever engines are right now present uh, in the world uh, whatever combustion is there it happens inside that particular body of the engine okay so that it is called as the internal combustion one 
Now, as our point of concentration on the internal combustion engine, so this IC engine is broadly classified on the different basis. So, one by one, we are going to discuss and we are going to understand the complete classification of the engine. So, the IC engine is first classified on the basis of engine design. Okay. So, according to the design engine, this IC engine is subclassified as A, reciprocating engine, B, rotary or vankel engine. Okay. Then after, uh, according to the working cycle, IC engine is again classified as that. According to the working cycle, one is auto cycle. It is also called as a petrol uh, cycle or we can say uh, this is useful in the case of ESI engine and another cycle that is called as a diesel cycle. This is also called as a CI engine, cycle for CI engine. Okay. Then the third one, the third basis uh, is number of stroke. So, uh, it is classified as a uh, two stroke engine and four stroke engine both in the case of spark ignition si means spark ignition and ci means compression ignition engine generally si means petrol engine ci means diesel engines always remember whenever uh, after this one when i am going to use the word si and ci you have to understood si means petrol engine ci means diesel engine now for number of stroke two stroke engine and four stroke engine these are the basic strokes of the engine then uh, on the basis of fuel use. So, we can use petrol, diesel, LPG, CNG and so on as a fuel for the engine itself. Then on the basis of fuel supply and the mixture preparation, uh, the subclassification is carbureted types and the injected types. Later on, we have to discuss on this each and every point in detail. So, the next basis is method of ignition. So, the A1 uh, battery ignition method, B magneto ignition method. Then, the seventh one on the basis of method of cooling. So, we know the air cooled engine is there, water cooled engine is there. Okay. The number eight uh, classification on the basis of cylinder arrangement, there will be an inline engine is there, V line engine, radial engine, opposed engine. So much types are present under the cylinder arrangement. Okay, means uh, the engine cylinder can be arranged uh, with this uh, particular kind of a cylinder arrangement. So, uh, the ninth classification is wall or port and the location design. So, it is again I head type, this is present for four stroke engine. B, that is L head type, uh, this is only for four stroke engine. Cross head type, scavenging type, loop scavenging, uniflow scavenging, and this all comes under for four, uh, sorry, two stroke engine. Okay, so this is on the basis of wall or port location design. Generally, walls are present in the four stroke engine and ports are present in the two stroke engine. We will discuss on this also later on. So, uh, the finally, uh, it bases on the applications or its use. So, the different varieties of engines are there according to the different applications like automotive engines we can use for land transport, marine engines for the propulsion of ships, uh, then the aircraft engines, uh, industrial engines, locomotive engines, the heavy primers for the electrical generators. These are the few applications where we can use the different varieties of engine. So, this is all about for the complete classification of the engine. This question will ask to you for 6 marks. Generally, give a complete classification of engine. That time you have to write all these things in detail. Okay. So, after this, uh, this one, uh, this is, these are the different picks of the, uh, the different varieties or the different types of engine. This is the general pick, again, the piston, cylinder, spark plug, along with the, uh, in some engines, where injectors are there, in some engines, spark plugs are there. Uh, generally, the injectors are used in the case of diesel engine and spark plug as used in the conventional type of a petrol engine. Okay, so this is called as a vertical engine where the operations of uh, piston reciprocating uh, or reciprocation action will be done in vertical direction that's why it is called as a vertical engine the cylinder arrangement is again in vertical direction that's why it is called as a vertical engine so this is the v engine if you observe uh, 
the piston will reciprocate in V direction or the cylinder has a V shape that's why uh, it is called as a V engine this side is again in V shape and another side which is uh, uh, this is actually the cut section so another side is also in V shape that's why it is called as a V engine itself so again uh, the vertical engines uh, like this uh, cylinder arrangements are also there this is a rotary engine uh, later on we'll talk in detail about this one also so these are uh, the picks of few uh, very big engines for the ship propulsion uh, such kind of a big engines for generation of huge amount of power uh, in marine applications where the uh, maximum power is required uh, this is one of the peak of it so uh, this is another uh, heavy engines along with uh, the uh, different mechanisms uh, which is useful in the case of heavy loading automobile engines like trucks buses etc so uh, this is again a uh, peak of uh, aircraft propulsion engine uh, the main uh, uh, main important thing of this particular engine this uh, should be lightweight because uh, uh, have to use in the case of aircraft that's why uh, uh, it will generate again huge amount of power so this is the peak of uh, the aircraft uh, propulsion engine itself so today we just discussed about the uh, different classifications of the engine and again we had few picks of the engine so uh, again when we see or when we talk about uh, uh, for the notes part again uh, we have uh, the notes for the classifications of IC engine here the complete classification is given uh, uh, like this one so just I am uh, scrolling this and uh, giving you the quick uh, review of this particular notes itself so like this if you uh, the question will ask you write the complete classification of ic engine in that time you have to write all these things in detail along with the different classifications of the engine so uh, that's all this is for all about for this particular uh, classification of the ic engine thank you friends thanks a lot for uh, watching this thank you